the New Jersey State Council on the Arts is pleased to co-produce State of the Arts in cooperation with NJN Public Television. The State Council on the Arts, supporting artistic excellence in New Jersey since 1966. There's been a lot of hype about this year's Jersey City Art Tour, also known as JCAT, now celebrating its 10th anniversary. Artists will open their studios and the public is invited to check out the city's downtown arts district, an eight block area designated exclusively for artist studios and gallery space. On her way to Building 111, a principal stop on the tour, producer Angela Capio visited one of the outdoor attractions. Whose sculpture, whose sculpture is this? Mine. And does it have a title? Yes, the, the title of this piece is Canwich. Uh-huh. This is one of the stops on the tour. It's the Peninsula Park Sculpture Project. And uh, we're in Peninsula Park, which is actually part of Liberty State Park. Mm -hmm. It's an underutilized park, but a very beautiful site, great location. The aim of the tour this year is to try to show the potential uh, of Jersey, downtown Jersey City is an art scene and an art marketplace. We're trying to attract not only art dealers but also uh, artists who need affordable studio space. We have tons of space available and we're trying to set it aside for the arts. I asked Robert about Building 111. For the last uh, 10 or 12 years that's been uh, the, the primary artist studio in uh, in downtown Jersey City. We have about, I would say, almost 100 artists just in that one building alone. 111 First Street is an entire block long. It's an old converted tobacco warehouse with over 100 artist studios. I spent the day there. Hello? Hi, ah, come in. Hi. Hi, Angela. Sure. Thank you. Nice <laughs> <Are you> here. <laughs> Thanks. Come in. Thanks. This is a big place. Mm hmm. I used to have a studio in Manhattan near Union Square, and um, uh, I had to leave that studio for a variety of reasons, and I was looking for another place. I looked in Long Island City, I looked in Williamsburg. A couple of people told me about this building. They say, why don't you go across the river? I said, well, I'll go check it out. So I got on the PATH train, and something I'd never done before. So I got off at the Grove Street station, walked over here, and, and I, I swear, as soon as I walked in the door, I said I knew that this was the place. I hadn't even seen a studio yet. I just liked the whole feel of the building right away. And uh, um, I took a studio. I was asked to, to do this piece for a, uh, the suitcase show, which was organized originally by an artist in this building, uh, Bill Burrell. Bill had the idea to do this show that artists would do work in suitcases that then could be transported um, to other places in the world. And I think the first stop was uh, someplace in London. My next stop, the fifth floor, visiting Robert Loeb's really nice space. Let me tell you something about my work. It's probably the first time you've seen it. Uh, I'm, I work with uh, landscape. I love nature because of the suggestion of permanence and impermanence, that things change and time moves on, but things always stay the same, too. The aluminum, sheets of aluminum, give my art this incredible portable aspect. It's almost like uh, uh, being a photographer to be able to go out into nature and to, to work directly from the landscape. Mm -hmm. And portable in that you compose it in segments and then put them together. Well, yeah, I can compose them in segments and I can, uh, I, each segment is thought about almost as a, as a separate sculpture. Uh, an individual unit, aesthetic unit. I had a studio in what is now the Chelsea area of New York, uh, but I found myself continually and constantly going over to New Jersey to find rocks and trees and aspects and elements of the landscape. 
I've been here since 1990. I think this building has been uh, a, a very uh, fortuitous and uh, amazing, uh, spontaneous uh, expression of, of the arts in, in Jersey City and, and New Jersey. I heard that on some days in the building, you could still smell tobacco in the air. Hi, Angela. Hi, Nancy. Come on in. Thanks. So uh, what, what are you working on? I'm working on a uh, small sculpture right now. I work large and small. The small work, I use a lot of um, found objects, things from real life usually that belong to people I know. So this is a piece that I'm making out of perfume bottles. Mm -hmm. And um, right now I'm covering the bottles with this um, handmade paper, abaca paper. And here it's stretched tight. When I put it on kind of baggy, it dries like that over here. I think about it sort of as like those children's toys that you pull on, but um, the pull string here is really small and, and couldn't possibly pull the sculpture. So I'm sort of playing with that functional but not really functional idea. My last stop, Kelly Dar. Well, I've been in this building for about 10 years, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's a great place to work. I've seen it change a lot in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, there's uh, so many interesting things that you become inspired by just as you walk down the hallway. Mm -hmm. For instance, this is a, the fire escape. We actually use this fire escape for, um, to come in out of the building fast. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, I mean, it's like a labyrinth, this place. Yeah, yeah there's many uh, halls and courtyards. There's a total of, I think, uh, four or six courtyards in this building. This is my studio. And this is my palette. Gorgeous. This is a, a collection that's taken me about a couple years to form of uh, nail enamel. It's just regular nail polish you'd buy in a, a drugstore or, or a Rite Aid. I use different kinds of uh, leather material, and uh, re reflective materials. And your subject is mostly women? My subject is women. Women, children, uh, babies. And I have been studying uh, women in my artwork for about 15 years. And I still never get, I never tire of it. <laughs> To get to JCAT, you can take the PATH trains or special free charter buses and ferries from Manhattan. In addition to the tour, there will be street performances, and if you can't get there in person, there's a live webcast. The Jersey City Art Tour is part of New Jersey's celebration of Arts and Humanities Month. Events are taking place all over the state, from Buried in Jersey Cemetery tours to a sound sculpture performance at Grounds for Sculpture in Hamilton. Call 1-800-THE-ARTS or visit jerseyarts.com on the internet.